In this video, we'll learn about powers and roots. Let's take an example. So we have 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, which is the same as saying 2 times 2. And that gives us 4. 2 to the power of 3, or 2 cubed, is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2 which gives us 8. 2 to the power of 4 is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so 4 2's multiplied, and that gives us 16. 2 to the power of 5, same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us 32. So based on that, you should be able to work out powers of different numbers, such as 3 squared, which can give you 9, or 3 cubed, which gives you 27, or 3 to the power of 4, which is going to be 27 times 3, or 81, and so on. There are some squares that you will need to remember, starting from 1 to 15. So, 1 squared, you'll need to remember that it's equal to 1. 2 squared, which gives us 4. 3 squared, which is 9. 4 squared, which is 16, 5 squared, which is 25, 6 squared, which is 36, 7 squared, which is 49, 8 squared, which is 64, 9 squared, which is 81, 10 squared, which is 100, 11 squared, which is 121. 12 squared, which is 144. 13 squared, which is 169. 14 squared, which is 196. And 15 squared, which is 225. You'll need to know this all by heart. These are all part of the timetables up to 100 or maybe 144 depending on which timetable you've been using and then the square of 13 and 14 these are numbers that you need to know as well as 15 which is 225 the opposite of powers are the roots so the square root of 4 is equal to 2. The cube root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8 so it's completely the opposite. The fourth root of 16 is 2. The fifth root of 32 is 2. Square root of 9 is 3. Cube root of 27 is 3. Fourth root of 81 is 3. 